Hi, we are now going to study a very very important concept which is the concept of power in electrical circuits. Here I have a box. Now this box could be anything. It could be a resistor, it could be a battery, it could be even things like inductors, diodes, any kind of electrical element. This point is A and that end of the box is B. There is a potential here which is VA and a potential there which is VB. Okay, So you know that the potential drop from A to B is VA minus VB. Now if I keep a charge at A, potential by itself is not energy. But if I put a charge Q, then this charge has a potential energy Q times VA. When the charge is here, it has a potential energy Q times VA. Now if the same charge goes through that box and comes to this point, there its potential energy will be Q times VB. So the potential energy of the charge has decreased. How much is the loss of the potential energy? The energy lost by the charge, that is the energy supplied to the box. So how much is the energy lost by the charge? Well, energy lost by the charge is this energy minus that energy Q times VA minus Q times VB. But this can be written as Q times VA minus VB. You know VA minus VB is VAB. So Q times the potential drop. Q times the potential drop from this point to that point. That is the energy lost by the charge. It is also the energy supplied to the box. When the charge loses energy, it gives that energy to the box. So how much energy has the box got? Now the box could be any electrical element. But how much energy did it get? It got Q times VAB. Okay. Now many times we are interested in power. Power is the amount of energy supplied divided by the time. It is the rate at which energy is supplied. So amount of energy supplied in a given time t. So you divide the energy supplied by time. So power supplied to the box is energy supplied by time which is Q VAB by T. Q by T into VAB. What is Q by T? Q by T is the amount of charge flowing through every second, right? Q by T is the current. So Q by T is just simply the current. And VAB is the potential drop between the two ends of this box from the entry point of the current to the exit point of the current. So I can write Q by T as I, current, VAB as V. So this formula can be written as I into V. Power supplied to any electrical element. Now, I didn't use this as a resistor. I didn't say this was a battery. I didn't say what it was. Whatever electrical equipment you use, the power supplied to that electrical equipment is the current flowing in into the potential drop from the entry to the exit. So let's remember this very important formula. Power P is I into V. I is the current going into the box. V is the potential drop from the entry to the exit point of the box. Now this formula is valid for all kinds of electrical equipment. Whether it's a battery, whether it's a resistor, this kind of an object which we call a diode, that is an inductor. Any kind of electrical equipment you pick, power is I into V. I into V is the most important formula for power. Now we are going to focus specifically on a resistor and try to understand what is the power formula for a resistor. Let us now look at the formula for power for a resistor. Okay, so here I have a resistor. There's a current I entering here. The potential drop V will be I into R. And we know that power supplied to a resistor, power supplied to any box is I into V. So power supplied to a resistor is also I into V. But we know V is IR. So if I substitute for V, I get I into IR, which is I square R. Now I square R is a formula that is only valid for a resistor. IV is a formula that is valid for any box. Okay, is this the only way in which you can write the formula for resistor's power? No, because I is equal to V by R. V equals IR also means I is equal to V by R. So we can write IV as V by R into V, V square by R. So we have a formula here, V square by R. We have a formula I square R. Both of these gives us the formula for power for a resistor. 
Now, these two are special formulas that only work for resistors, whereas IV, this formula works for all electrical objects. So, the formula for power for a resistor is IV, which is equal to I square R, which is equal to V square by R. This is the power supplied to a resistor. Now, what is the unit of power? What is the unit of energy? Unit of energy is joules. What about unit of power? Power is energy per second. So, the unit of power will be joules per second. Now, this is such an important unit that we have a special name for it. We call it Watt. We use the symbol W for it. Watt, James Watt had done a lot of work on energy and power. So, in his honor, we call the unit of power as Watt. Now, the general joke is, what is the unit of power? Exactly. Watt is the unit of power. Okay. So, basically, you must keep them in mind that the SI unit for power is Watt, which is just the same as joules per second. Okay. Let us now look at an example. Here, I have 3 amperes going into this 4 ohm resistor. So, if I wanted to calculate power, I can use I square R 3 square into 4, which is going to give me 9 into 4, 36 watts. Okay. I can also calculate the potential drop I into R. So, that will be 12 volts. And so, if I used I into V, 3 into 12, that will also give me 36 watts. If I had used V square by R, 12 square by 4, that will also give me 36 watts. So, you will get 36 watts in many different ways. So, I hope the understand you have understood how to calculate power for a resistor. Let us now look at the heat energy dissipated by a resistor. When you supply power to a resistor, what does that power do? Well, the resistor is not going to take it and go away. What the resistor does is it heats up. So, the power that we are supplying is getting converted to heat energy. Okay. Power, we know the formula is IV, I square R or V square by R. Now, if I am going to wait for T seconds, you know that the energy that you are supplying is this power into time T. So, the energy we supply to the resistor is P into T. T is the time. IV into T, I square R into T, V square by R into T. Basically, it is power into time. Now, this is the amount of energy we have supplied over a period of time. Power is how much you supply per second. Right? Energy is how much total you supply over how many hours seconds that you are supplying this power for. So, energy is power into time. We can use the power formula and easily calculate energy. Now, energy, the unit is joules. But because power's unit, I told you, is very, very important, sometimes we write joules as watt second. Watt into second, because joules per second, that gives you watt. So, basically, watt second is a joule. So, 1 watt second is a joule. 1 watt for 1 second gives you energy of 1 joule. Okay, let us look at this case here. Here I have a current of 2 amperes flowing through a 5 ohm resistor. How much is the heat energy dissipated in 1 minute? Now, 1 minute is 60 seconds. Right? How much is the power first? I square R. I square is 4. R is 5. But this is power, this is not energy. If you want this for 1 minute, so this into 60 seconds. So this is 20 into 60, which is 1200. Should I say watts? No, I should say joules. I can also write that as watt second. Okay? So the heat energy dissipated. Why am I saying dissipated? Because when you supply the heat energy to this resistor, the resistor heats up. The energy that you have given basically makes the resistor hot. But will it just remain hot? No, it will distribute that heat energy. It will basically make the surroundings hotter. So, effectively the energy that you have supplied has been dissipated by the resistor. So, often people will ask you, how much heat energy has been dissipated by the resistor? Whatever power you are supplying into time, that much energy that the resistor received, it dissipates. It doesn't keep anything. It dissipates all of that energy. So, in this case, it has dissipated 1200 joules of energy. 